Tulakaba is going to play some Minecraft. Tulakaba is going to punch a tree for wood. Tulakaba is going to mine some cobble. Tulakaba is going to kill a zombie good and hop and hop and hop and What the Lockaba presents Let's play Minecraft Terra Firmacraft, where I am going to take us through at the high speed construction of your survival on your first day. I have just appeared here in Terra Firmacraft with no idea where or what I have. I'm going to punch a stone. What kind of stone is it? It is limestone. This is good, people. Oh, is this good. It's not going to make very long term durable tools. But once we have a hammer, we can crush limestone and use it to make um, flux. And flux we can use then to process leather. It means we can get to some leather armor and look down there. Now I'm just grabbing a, a good handful of these stones. That's the first thing. The second thing we're going to want is we're going to want a couple of sticks. Now immediately, immediately as soon as you got at least two rocks and, and two sticks, Right click with the rocks in your hand, take and start clicking with your left click and just divide it right down the middle and chip off those corners and it'll give you two knife blades. Hit E to exit, hit E again to open your crafting space, put those two knives up there, put your two sticks up there and get yourself two knives, alright? These are going to be very important because our survival is going to depend very much on these knives. Now you'll see when I take and I cut grass with the knife, I get some straw. This is very important. Straw is used for a number of things. We use it in pit kilns to fire pottery. Um, we use it for a number of different things. But one of the things that's very important that we use it for is to make thatch blocks. Now, thatch blocks out light and mobs cannot see through thatch. And as long as you don't aggro a mob before you enter a, a, a like a thatch structure or go through a thatch doorway, because you can walk right through thatch. It does not stop anything solid. Like if you have a thatch roof and you try to walk on it, you'll fall right through. But if uh, we start with that, we're looking pretty good. Now we are going to right click the gooseberry bush and take those berries. Same here. I don't know if the gooseberry book will, bush will bite us or not, and I really don't want to find out. But now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put up all the berries, and that's going to combine them together. So we've got some, some sweet food here, and we also know we've got a few berries here. We could actually take cut these if we want, just like this. Oh, hey, here's another one. I didn't even see it. Awesome. But might as well take these, and wherever it is we're settling, we'll, we'll take them with. They're an ongoing food source. Now, once we get a few more sticks in hand here, um, or, oops, there was one knife and that's why we, we wanted to make two, but uh, if we just go to a tree and we start breaking the leaves we, with a stick or a knife, it's going to start dropping sticks when we break some of these. There we go, see? And that's a quick way to just build up your, your supply of sticks if you need some. Just bust the foliage, make sure you got a good collection of rocks. Alright, now, here I grabbed the sapling out of that deal too, which is not bad. Alright, so we're up to, to a dozen sticks here. That's a whole lot better. We can get something done with that. Alright, we're going to keep going now. I see pumpkins over here, and that is fantastic. And even more fantastic than the pumpkins is the clay. So it is time for us, first of all, oh my goodness, what a wonderful place. Look at this. So the, the cattails here tell us that this is fresh water. The pumpkins can have a torch put in them and they can be made into jack-o'-lanterns and they are weatherproof so they'll stay lit in the rain and we'll still have our light and the clay will allow us to start immediately getting some stuff done so this is fantastic we couldn't have asked for a better start for a better spot oh goodness all right so we're going to get right on this because we don't have a lot of time so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to right click with the stones in my hand and remember first the four corners two three four that's the basics for an axe. Now just take out two and chip off the corners, and there we go. Do you see that? It's kind of like a like a hat or something. 
but we're going to grab ourselves an axe head by doing that hit E to exit right click with the stone again and this time take off completely the left side and take off the right side and then take off the bottom two corners and we have a shovel okay so there we go now we're going to also take off the top and the bottom and then on the bottom take off the two on the left and the two on the right to give us a stone hammerhead and that's because of course that's our best weapon against uh, skellies our axe is going to be our best weapon against uh, zombies but let's go to our crafting grid and let us get these tools put together so there's our hammer we're just gonna get that in there there's our axe there's our shovel and we are ready to rock and roll and we've got thatch so tell you what guys here's what we're going to do first things first we're going to chop us well first things first we're going to see if we can dig us a hole okay that will hold together um let's see here this anywhere these yellow flowers are there's clay and this is why i was able to tell that there's clay here because the yellow flowers tell me so i guess there's really not an easy place to to dig in directly but we're gonna see what we got here can we go down a bit yeah we can okay let's just dig this out so we can go over a bit uh too bad well we might be able to actually dig down one more let's do that and from here because this is clay and only because this is clay see dirt collapses hmm we're not that's not gonna work for us we're gonna have to try over here I was hoping that we could uh, just dig right in and, and dig a, a cave in the clay it, the cl clay's not thick enough to do that there so let's try here oh this has got dirt underneath as well well we're gonna open this up three by three Right now what this is about is about staying alive because there are some very unpleasant things out there in the world that would love to get their meat hooks into us. And so we're going to take advantage of this clay. The clay is stable. Clay does not collapse. Okay. So that means that we can get down to, we're going to take this straw and we're just going to evenly distribute it like this on our crafting square. And as you can see, that gives us thatch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There we go. So, thirteen thatch in all, right there. Probably not going to use all of it. But now, what we've got to do real quick is cut ourselves a tree, and this is a handy one right here. Rather not have it right there where a skeleton can uh, take refuge. Very nice. We take that. What kind of wood is it? It is hickory, which is wonderful because hickory can be used to make tannin. So we've got. Oh, I'm sorry about my nose. Um. So we have got. No, that's pine. I don't want pine. I want hickory. More hickory. There you go. Uh, we have got clay. We have. We will have hickory wood. Um. So with the uh, limestone that we found, we can create lime water. Lime water is going to be used to uh, process hides one step of the way and then we need tannin to process them the next step of the way and it just so happens that well hickory will allow us to create tannin so here we go we want this nice and stable nice and strong it doesn't have to to be beautiful but it does have to be safe all right so one there and one there can I put one there and still get through? No? Okay, well, that's all right. We'll just dig it out one more. There we go. Now we can get in and out. Can go down. And this is nothing fancy. And the simple truth is it's not going to be pretty. Okay? But it doesn't have to be pretty. It has to be secure. And to make it secure, we're going to need a couple more things here. So let's hop up on the outside here. And make sure we fill in the back. Finally, we're just going to drop one. That can serve a couple of, of logs or at least one log. Now we'll take this pine log down. It should cut fairly quick because pine is, is fairly soft. There we go. And we'll just grab those. 
We're going to use our knife to cut just a little more thatch right here. And then we are going to run over here really, really quickly. We're going to make sure that we have an empty hand. In fact, let's take the gooseberries and combine them together. There we go. With an empty hand, we're just going to drink. Keep right-clicking, and you will keep drinking. There you go. Now, come right over here, and we're going to chop these two guys right here. Grab that one. Pow. And grab this. Pow. Oh, I'm so glad these pumpkins were here, guys. I can't even begin to tell you. They're going to make life so much better. Okay, now, wh what do we got for sticks? We got nine sticks. All right, that's going to be cutting her a little close, but it'll be all right. So we're going to come on down here. We're going to dig a hole right here in the corner. Okay. We're going to grab our sticks. We're going to grab our straw. Now we're going to take two sticks and set them at an angle. That's going to give us a fire starter. Here we go. Use Q to throw three sticks in that pit. Use Q to throw one thatch. Now use your fire starter. Right click and hold it. And there we go, it's lit. Now, take your two thatch blocks and block the doorway. And before this can go out, drop a log in there. And then drop one stick into there and it's going to give us two torches. There we go. Go ahead, drop one more stick. Go ahead, drop another log in there. It'll keep it lit. There we go. Now, we're going to take... Our pumpkins, we're going to take our torches, we're going to create jack-o'-lanterns, jack-o'-lanterns, and now I'm just going to take and dig a loverly hole right here under here, because see this clay holds it in place, pow, now we never have to worry about a torch, whether torches are lit or not, because we've got wonderful stable light, and here we are, so now we have a little bit of food, Yummy, yummy gooseberries. And we have ourselves some wood to work with. We have ourselves some dirt to work with. We got gooseberry bushes we can plant. Um, it, it, it's a little primitive, granted. But as you can see, we can see out through this. Mobs cannot see in. So this is beautiful. We can look out there and we can tell what's going on out there really nice. And we come back on in. And so we've got a good start here. All right, now, where can we go from here? What can we do immediately? Well, the first thing to do is to get the clay out and to right-click that clay. Okay, first things first. You need a water jug. So you're going to remove the top left corner. You're going to skip one, and then you're going to remove one, two, three. Okay, so you'll have this little guy poking up. Now, remove one and skip one, one, and two, and go around the corner, three. So one, skip one, one, two, three. One, skip one, one, two, three. And then pop that guy right out right there. Do you see that? There you go. One and two of them. I don't know. Whatever is easy to remember. But that is a water jug. Now we're going to right-click again. And we are going to take out the four corners. Ping, ping. And there is a clay vessel that we can store things in and work uh, minerals in ores we're going to empty this out and that's going to give us a large vessel that must be fired in its own individual pit and last but not least we're going to remove the bottom corners and we're just going to start removing layers until we're down to just one layer here and then it's going to be those center three and we're, that's going to give us four clay bowls okay so we've got enough to fill two and a half fire pits here, so we might as well uh, make one more water jug. Oops, what did I mess up here? Oh, there it is. All right. And because we'll want it as immediately as possible, we're going to make a saw mold. See how all that is taken out easily, and now we're going to take one from below, and there's a saw mold. And that will give us 
enough to fill three pits. Now to fire three pits, we're going to need 8 and 8 is 16, plus 8 is 24 straw. So we're going to separate out some of these here and see how many straw we have on hand. There's 46, so we need 24. We'll divide that in two. 23 here, and there's 24. There we go. So we won't worry about any more of that. In fact, we'll take what we got here if we can and convert it back to blocks just so we don't get them mixed up. But there we go. And now we're going to need also eight wood per uh, fire pit. Okay, and so we're going to need to cut some wood. But as you can see, it is nighttime out, which means it is dangerous. It is dangerous out here. I find it very strange that there have been absolute zero mobs. You guys find that strange? I'm playing on survival. Everything should be hardcore and rocking and rolling and being scary, so I don't understand why I haven't seen any mobs yet. I mean, I'm not complaining. I'd rather not see any mobs. If they continue to, to give us a little peace, we can actually get these clay pits going. Come on. Pop. There you go. All right. That should get us really close. So we're going to take our shovel. We're going to dig three pits, which is nice. It's going to give us more clay. Come on. Alright, so three pits, and then down in the pits we got to put the stuff, so let's just get it down here fast, fast, so that we don't got to deal with no mobs if we don't want to. Keep it moving, click it in. There we go, so we take the big one, and that goes individually in one pit. Let's go water jug. Right here. There's a shift right click to place it. Shift right click, shift right click, shift right click, shift right click, and now we'll do this one. Shift right click, shift right click, and there goes our saw mold, and there's our water jug. And now, we're going to need our wood and our straw. Straw, here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm right clicking the bottom of the hole to fill it. Okay. Takes eight to fill the hole. Now, same thing with wood, I'm going to right click to fill it, takes eight to fill it. Ended up taking a couple back out again. There we go, two. And so I'm actually going to be one shy here. Come on, get back in there. Don't be a pain. Yep, I'm one shy. Which means... Where's our axe here? There it is. We'll be able to get at least one log. The axe is going to break. But get at least one log to put in there. I don't know why nothing has appeared. Why we have no mobs. Maybe I've, maybe they're turned off on the mini-map and I can't see them. Maybe there are all kinds of mobs around and I'm just not aware of it. There we go. All we need is one. Good enough. Come on over here. Get that last one in place. Now, we're going to do something kind of cool here. We're going to place a torch. We're going to take a stick and we're going to right-click that torch. And that's going to actually turn the stick into a torch, see? Now we've got two torches, and we're going to take and toss the torch on top of that. Woohoo! Oops, nope, I missed. <laughs> now you can light this with your fire starter, or you can just toss a torch on. Oh, there it goes, okay. <laughs> Make sure you pick that torch back up. Give yourself a little light. That's going to give us some light out here. And, oh, no, make sure you always hold on to at least one torch. Now, um, we are going to seriously need sticks, so... We're fortunate that the sun is coming up. We're going to take our knife here, and we are going to go at these trees to get ourselves sticks. And we are just, so you can see, our first night has passed. We've gotten ourselves some safety um, and, and a little food, and we're already starting to whip together the things that we're going to need to be able to carry water, to be able to pan for, mater for minerals. So, and we're at about 20 minutes, and so you can see it takes, a, if, you, if you get the right start, if you get the right start, in 20 minutes, you can be well on your way to success. And so now, what I'm going to do, I don't know if it'll allow me to do it or not, let's see, 4 slash seed, 
Bing. There's your seed, guys. Five four zero one zero nine two five three. That is the seed for this map that gave us such an excellent, excellent start. And with with the clay and all the other stuff going on here, so you guys can try this map and it'll give you a chance to get to work on this stuff. But there you go. So that is 20 minutes to 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 survive your first night. I mean, literally. 10 minutes in the daytime, 10 minutes at nighttime makes 20 minutes. Surviving your first 20 minutes and coming out in superior condition. Now all we have to do is pick up some rocks or continue to work our rocks to make sure we've got our tools. And then when the clay is done firing everything, we can begin the process of panning and all the more advanced stuff. So thank you for joining me for this very first edition of, of 20 Minutes in Terraforma Craft. I just wanted to show you guys how quick and easy it can be to get started if uh, if you get the right the right seed to get started with, if you know what you're doing, away we go. So thank you for joining me. Hopefully this will get you a quick start. And there are more uh, uh, tutorial videos coming from the the server itself. I just wanted to set this up as a quick review. So you guys, if you want to remember this stuff, you can catch it all in one video instead of having to search through my videos to get it. So Minecraft half half with hey rock in your face, and I'm out. Peace.